All right, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a stock weapon to a stock map on World at War Zombies using the mod tools. So to start off with, you're obviously going to need to get the mod tools, and you're going to also want the UGX weapon editor, and then you're also probably going to want uh, a good at, uh, text editor. So I use uh, Notepad++, and I also use Sublime Text, but you know you can use whatever you like. Um, so yeah, to get started with, basically we're going to need to get the weapon files first. So we want to add some weapons to a zombie map. Um, that doesn't have them and so you know I, I, you can add custom weapons from other games but this is just specifically for if you want to add um, weapons that are already in the game but just not in zombies and it's just a self-explanatory step we're obviously going to want to get the files for said weapon so um, there's a couple things you need to get and once you have the mod tools installed you'll have this folder called vra so we're going to go into here um, it's inside our root folder by the way which is just the steam directory and then into world at war so we're going to go to vra and then we're first going to get the weapon file, so that's going to be in the folder called weapons. And then um, we'll just take it from single player, but you know your gun could be in either. Um, yeah, so we're going to just grab, I'm going to do the SVT. Um, I've already done all the pistols and the Type 99, the Mosin Nagant, and the uh, sawed off double barrel into Duris. That's, you know, I'm going to be using Duris for this example video. Um, so we're going to do one that I haven't done already, which is the SVT. So let's see if we can find that just sort of scan through so yeah here it is so this is the weapon file um, and once we get that I just like to store it in a uh, just a folder for for now so um, we're gonna need that weapon file um, and then we're also going to need the uh, models for it so um, these are actually what um, you know the gun looks like and uh, you know the, the three models so we're gonna go to raw again and this time we're gonna go to X model and then we're gonna find the SVT so it's probably easiest to just search it up like this um, and there's going to be a bunch of different ones usually for each weapon, and you just got to find like the base um, variant. So we're looking for the format is uh, X or sorry, it's just view view model underscore and then weapon underscore. So the view model is the first person model, and then the weapon one is just the weapon model for like third person. Um, and so we don't need to get anything weird like with the bayonet or this flash one, just the normal one. So it looks like um, weapon underscore rust for Russian, um, and then this one right here so those look like the two base ones so yeah I'm gonna just put those into here um, and which I've already done that so yeah so that's all we need to get from um, our, uh, our raw folder so now next up let's take a look at the steps um, so yeah let's let's go to our mod so I assume you'll already have a mod set up but you can find other tutorials on how to set um, a mod up but basically you just got to get the some of the scripts um, from the original, you know, again, this is a stock map from the original map, and then the weapon files from the original map. Um, put some stuff in your uh, uh, zone source here, and then you'll have the just the vanilla map, but as a mod, and you can uh, change stuff from there. So once we're in here, um, we're just going to open the mod. Going to go to weapons single player, and then where was our folder here? And we're just going to take that weapon file and plop it into there. Next up, we're going to need to actually make an upgraded variant. Um, so we're going to copy this, and we're going to, because obviously you can pack a punch on Duris. Um, actually, if you, so if you're doing this for the other maps, you don't even need to bother with this. Um, but for Duris, we do have to, to make an upgraded variant. And now I'm going to just throw it into the weapon file editor, just so you can see. Um, but we can change stuff from here. So uh, let's just let's give it a pack a punch name. Um, is it just like? this in game or I don't know so I'll just make it like something funny um, I don't know what what else I could really call it I'll just leave <laughs> leave it that um, that's kind of funny isn't it okay uh, next up for the weapon stats um, I leave everything that um, has to do with like movement and you know all the sway and stuff all that the same it's just the damage and the ammo that you're gonna want to change um, and for this, I usually will uh, copy um, something from a similar weapon and then slightly change it up. So let's say you know the SVT is similar to the, um, the M1 carbine. So we can just take that as an example. Um, here we go. Where is it? I don't. I can't even find it. But um, here's the M1 ground. You know that's close enough. And so then I would just look at the stats for the damage, um, and we want to get the upgraded one, of course. Uh, and you know we can we can sort of compare and do what we want to do. Same with the ammo. Um, and so I'm not going to show that right now, but you can do that on your own. And then I also actually, you know, you should do this too. You don't have to, but I also go back to the base version um, 
Here, let's load that in. And I also make sure this is balanced right for zombies. You know, this is just coming from campaign, so it might not be good enough, it might be too bad. Uh, usually it's all right on its own, but yeah, still just always compare it to similar weapons and just change it up. That's really all you're gonna do. So going back to the upgraded one, then I'm also gonna go to the models. And so this is the model it's using when it's upgraded. I'm gonna actually change that to underscore up. And then the world model, I'm gonna change that to underscore up. So we're gonna need to make uh, two models for the upgraded variant later, but just for now, I'm gonna do that, um, get that out of the way so that it will be loaded in properly. Okay, so that's all we need to do with the weapon file stuff. Um, next up, we can work with the uh, models. Um, so basically, we're gonna need to load this uh, into our mod with the zone source. So I know I put it into this folder, but this isn't really a necessary step. It's just to stay organized and um, you'll see why later as well for the upgraded variants. Uh, and so once we go into our um, mod tools, we can see the CSV here, and we're going to add in these lines right here. So this is what I'm doing. Um, you're going to need to put the name of the weapon in Vmodel right here. It depends on what it is. Same with the, just the weapon name. So um, it'll be different for whatever you're using, but uh, you know, you just copy the names um, and go as such and just paste this in. Okay, so now the weapon is loaded in there. Also, we can reload this, and then you need to make sure this is a step a lot of people will forget when they're new. Uh, go down to your weapons and then find the SVT and just check the boxes. Okay, so that's that. Um, next up, we need to add the uh, weapon to our scripts. So this is pretty easy. Um, we're just gonna go back to our mod folder. We're gonna go to maps, and then we're gonna first go to zombie mode. Um, sorry, no, we're not. We're gonna go to the Nazi zombie uh, factory. So this is your map name, GSC. Um, I already have it opened up, but uh, here we go. So once you get into the script, you can just scroll down and, and find the, where the, all the weapons are. Um, and I'm gonna just add the SVT. So I just copy similar lines. We're in the semi-auto rifle section. I'm just gonna put SVT40. This is gonna be the weapon file name. And then if you remember, I also made an upgraded version. So we're gonna just do it like that. So that's easy enough. Then we're gonna go to, to zombie mode weapons, which is also in the same uh, maps folder here. Um, and then, you know, some weapons, I think most weapons are actually already in this. For some reason, Treyarch just already went ahead and, and put every weapon in here. So I don't actually have to add it. But if it's not in this list, you're going to need to add it. Um, and you can follow the format again, just copy paste. If you want to uh, add a custom, um, like hint strength for if it's a wall buy, you can uh, you can do that. Um, but this is for stock maps. So these are really going to just go straight to the box anyways. Um, and then you can, you know, adjust the, uh, the, the voice messages that they will say when they get the weapon as well. You can sort of just follow the format, you know, if it's a shotgun, uh, machine gun, etc. Now actually, going back to this really quickly, I do want to mention that this um, argument right here, false, this indicates that it will not show up in the box, and so this is just the, you know, the um, way that we keep upgraded weapons out of the mystery box. You just want to plop that in right there. Um, so yeah, that's all we have to do with the scripts, actually. So we're done with that. Let's see, what is the next step? Um, okay, well, I kind of jumped around, but yeah, balance the stats for zombies. You, you know, just go to the weapon files and edit those around. Um, and now we got to uh, do the Pack-A-Punch variant. So we already did some of the work for that. Um, but let's see, let's get our weapons pulled up if we need to do anything there. And then also we're going to edit the uh, Pack-A-Punch models. So before we do that, though, let's just quickly check. Um, it's going to say we're missing some models, I believe. Um, because we don't oh wait oh sorry I, i've completely missed a step but it doesn't matter actually because it, it worked fine but you're going to also need to load in let's let's just load it in while we're testing you're also going to need to put in your zone source um the csv um lines that grab the upgraded uh models for the weapon so again i didn't make those yet so it's actually kind of good that i uh didn't uh, put that in, but I'll, I'll do that in a second. So as you can see, the weapon is, is in the map, so here we go, it's good. Now, um, one thing you'll notice is I do have working sounds. I don't know if it's loud enough. Um, and that probably won't be the case for you. So you're gonna need to mess around and add stuff into your zone source or edit sound aliases um, to fix this. So for example, with the Type 99, I just went into the, um, let's see, where is this? I just went into the folder here for sound aliases, and then I went into weapons, and I just went to the type 99, and then I just changed all of the um, uh, MPs to say SP, so you can see right here it's highlighted. All these all SPs, they used to be all MP. I literally just changed it to say SP, and then that worked for me, so that was one workaround to get the sounds working. Then other workarounds, um, 
you know, you can just go into your zone source and try to add in like sound, Mosin, all SP, just, you know, stuff like that. Usually it'll work. I also, I actually just loaded in a campaign mission sounds um, for all the weapons just, just because I was lazy. It's just easier. So any weapon that was used in this campaign mission will have working sounds excuse me, um, in, in my mod now. So just mess around with that. That's really all you got to do to get it to work. You don't have to worry about like actually putting the sound files into your mod um, because you can just pull it from the original game. So that's pretty much it for the normal weapon, but we're going to go ahead and do the Pack-A-Punch variant now. So first up, whoops, did not mean to do that. I always do this. Uh, we're going to add in two lines for the upgraded variant. So I'm just going to copy paste and then we're going to add underscore up. So for the, the view models, I'll just, the format is just up. And then for the weapon file, you actually can write out upgraded. Um, just so that's sort of what Treyarch did. So then we're also going to do the same thing with, uh, you know, these models here. So I already copy and pasted them and changed the names, but these are the models that are directly corresponding to these lines here. Um, and remember I grabbed these models from earlier in the video and this is why I did it just so it's easier to see in a small folder rather than just a giant folder with a bunch of uh, models. Um, so really what we're going to do is just swap in the textures for the upgraded variant into the uh, normal weapon model. Now Treyarch when they officially did these uh, uh, Pack-a-Punch camos they like custom map them onto the weapons but for our purposes you know it's good enough to just manually replace the textures it'll probably look fine um, so we'll start off with the view model um, actually well yeah I think no we'll start off with the weapon model this one is easier so for the weapon model um, the way Treyarch does it is I'll just give you an example they made it so the um, weapon is just using a flat texture like of just shininess so it's really easy you just have to swap every single texture um, or that are technically called materials with um, the shiny one. So th there's two variants of the Pack-a-Punch texture then the other one you'll also see is here. So you can see this one is like much more detailed so this is for first person. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So the name of this texture that we're going to use um, to sort of it doesn't really matter but I just grabbed one from a similar weapon. They're always like underscore gold so this is like the, the flat texture that's just shininess so I went and grabbed the one from the M1 Carbine because it's kind of similar to the SVT, I guess. They're both just semi-auto rifles. Um, so we grabbed that material name. Then as you saw earlier, um, I right-clicked the weapon um, uh, weapon model and then just opened it with Notepad++. So now let's go and find the material. So let's see. So here we go. Th these are all the materials. Um, it's kind of hard to read, but just you know, look for, look for the normal text. So this first one, we're going to just replace. This one has underscore wood, and so to follow with Treyarch's um, just style, they left the wood usually untouched. So I'm gonna, oops, I'm not gonna change that. So if you see underscore wood, I usually just skip over it. Um, what, what did I? Okay, I actually I was too far scrolled over. So yeah, we're basically just gonna replace all of these normal ones um, that don't have wood with the gold one from the M1 carbine. So this is easy. So yeah, and then let's double check that. There's only wood, gold, wood, gold, wood, gold. Okay, boom. So that is all we have to do here. Now we got to make sure to save that. And then you have to close out of view, uh, asset viewer um, and then reopen it and we can go and check it out. So, oh wait, no, I'm stupid, sorry. We got to go ahead and take this file and then put it back into here. Okay. And let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, cool. So it clearly is working and we have uh, successfully done the weapon model. So again, you keep that wood untouched. Um, now I don't know which part corresponds to which, but clearly there's a texture for like the trigger guard, the um, barrel, um, the stuff here and the magazine. So we'll figure that out um, when we do the uh, next model. So. This one is going to be a little bit more tricky, the uh, view model, because we want to make it more detailed um, and just look cooler in first person. So I have to usually do a bit of guess and check um, to figure this out. So first off, just at a base level, I'm going to add in the fancy texture. So this one is called the um, material underscore silver etching. So 
um, just follow that and so we're going to just plop that into every non wood texture just to see how it looks oh and this one actually oh this one says underscore clip which is kind of cool i don't know if that refers to inside the magazine or just the magazine itself so wait let's just try um usually the, so the format treyarch does is like they'll do mostly silver etching for the entire gun and then for like the magazine and small like gaps and stuff they'll use this texture which is like the flat one just to give it like kind of a cooler look so let's try just putting a normal texture onto that and then everything else um is just silver etching and then obviously the wood one we leave untouched so let's go ahead and take that rifle up and put this into here um and my notepad thing is not going to work so i'm going to have to reopen it here because we're probably going to want to come back and touch it up um, but let's just see how it how it looks so we're going to go into asset viewer and again just search up the svt40 um, let's see, we're looking for the view model. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Okay, perfect. So basically, um, we got the magazine with the uh, flat texture and then the top and the bottom have this fancy one. Now, I just for comparison, I want to see what the M1 uh, carbine looks like. What did they do? So you can see, yeah, they did the same thing. They have the flat texture here. Looks like though the barrel I can't really move. There we go. Looks like with the barrel, they did the flat texture as well. So I'm going to do that. And looks like for this part, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, there. And so it looks like for this part, they kind of used both. Uh, I'm completely like disoriented now, but it's okay. Um, so they use like both, but I can't really do that probably. So we'll just experiment a bit more. So let's try going back into here. Um, and let's see the barrel we're just gonna guess that it's the first one let's see what happens if we do the first one and then let's just go to asset viewer and go right back to this so yeah it's kind of a lame process how you just have to guess and check because I can't read which part uh, is which material let's see how it looks uh, did I not do it right oh I guess Wait. Oh, okay, I wait. I don't know what I did. Yeah, so we made that first one this texture. Yeah, I don't know what that changed. Interesting. Is that like something up here? Oh no, I think that's the front sight, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, that's the front sight, I believe. So okay, let's try the second one now. Let's try replacing that silver etching, the fancy texture with the simple texture. We got to close out. SVT. Uh, again, okay, so cool. This looks like it changed the slide part in the inside. I like that. Let's keep that, I think. Um, like on when we looked at the M1 carbine, well, I'll just pull it up. It, it had like some, like see the sight here, and then like a little bit of, you see this metal here with my mouse. This is like the flat texture. So yeah, that's good. Like having some of the inner workings be that looks good okay and then let's just try one more time oh wait i guess the barrel oh it looks like we're running out of space here yeah it looks like the barrel is connected to the rest of the texture so let's try let's try doing the reverse of that so let's undo this one and then replace this one and let's just let's just give this a look so it might not look the best um but you never know let's see interesting yeah because now it's like not enough silver etching okay so it looks like so once you'll get to this point then where it's like now we want to go back i like the way it looked before so um we're gonna go to here so let's undo that we're gonna put that back to silver etching and then this one we're gonna put back to that okay so now we're good to go we can load our mod again um so again we have the models in here with underscore up. We changed our upgraded weapon file to have underscore up. We called it into here as well. And we have it in our uh, scripts so that we can have the upgraded version. So it should all work now if we build a mod, hopefully. Let's see. Yep, looking good. Actually, did I check the upgrade version as well? I'm pretty sure I did, but just you never know. Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. Now, just for fun, 
I'm gonna give myself the normal. Oh, and I forgot one step. We'll go back and do that uh, after this. Just for fun, I'm gonna give it to myself and then upgrade it manually. So let's see if this works. No, it did not work. What did I do wrong? Included this weapon. Um, we got the SVT-40 upgraded here. Um, oh, I don't think I added it to here, did I? Yeah, I kind of screwed myself over, didn't I? I did. So we're gonna go to here. Add this, because Trek never made an upgraded variant. Do this. And we can just leave all of that the same. Boom. So now it should work. I apologize for that. But you know what? I'm going to keep this in the video just to show you that you will run into issues like this that are super easy to fix. You just got to keep going and don't give up. So let's go ahead and you know, I'm going to just cut to the chase and give myself the upgraded version. I can't be bothered to fly. What the fuck? Uh, CSV right here, and then I just added an underscore operator. So I guess it, for some reason it wasn't letting me just load it in from the mod itself here. So I don't know why that didn't work, but it's fine. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and test it here. And also one more thing is I didn't do the sound for the upgrade version, so that's what I was forgetting. Uh, but I will show that quickly after this. Just let's confirm right here. Here we go. So I also went ahead, I, I uh, updated the name a little bit and um, I made it full auto. And then I also buffed the stats a little bit. So you can see um, the models all work perfectly fine. And if we go, well, actually let's give ourselves the normal one. And then um, turn on the power. And we can just see what the third person model looks like. go perfect all right and so to do the sound it's not too hard and then I just take one yeah from a similar weapon actually no M1 carbine is kind of iconic sound so let's just take from it's a similar weapon I guess like was a generic sound M1 because from the the Gavir I guess I don't really know Oh, um, let's just take that. Because I don't think the Gavir is automatic. So my, it, that's the thing. If you have weapons of different um, like fire rates, then it doesn't actually matter that much if you reuse the sound. So let's just throw this in. So we just take that, that, and that. Anything that says like the Uber, that just, that's going to be the upgraded sound. And everything else just stays the same. Oh, and actually one more thing. I do want to, you want to also make sure to add this. This is the Bowie knife sounds um, because this weapon doesn't normally exist in zombies. So if you add that, it'll actually have the working Bowie knife sounds when you use that. So there we go. I think we're good to go. Let's try building it again. There we go. And so it works. Oh, but this is the old version of the where I didn't fix the name and make it fully auto. But you know, you get you get the idea. Now it has the working sound. I think the Gavir works pretty well for this weapon. And let's also just test. I'll I'll actually show you with the Bowie knife because 